Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Alyssa, AKA Always Alyssa J. And today we're going to be talking new releases from Sol de Janeiro. They released not one, not two, but three new fragrances as they typically do when they release limited edition collections. The name of this collection is called Ola Summer. And here we have the trio. Look how beautiful and colorful. You have Bejos de Sol, Carioca Crush, and Summer e Amor. They describe this collection as happy, carefree, ready for adventure. I purchased these as soon as they became available, came very quickly from Sephora, literally just got these in the mail a day ago. We're gonna be talking notes, I'm gonna give you guys my first impressions, and let y'all know what I think my favorite is gonna be. The first one we're gonna talk about is Bellos de Sol. These do retail for $24 each as they've always been $24 for this size. And on the website here, I can see you can buy all three for $72, which in the grand scheme of things, you're not saving any money. So if you don't like the sound of all three, I wouldn't recommend you buy all three. Just buy the ones that you think you'll really like. So your keynotes and Bellos de Sol are going to be peach skin, mango nectar, frangipini petals, coconut milk, solar woods, and white musk. When you first spray this, you definitely get the juiciness from that mango and the peach. It's so beautiful, it's so juicy, very much delicious, very much summery. That I can definitely say. If you're a fruity floral type of person, I definitely think you'll be into this. I will say, the dry down is throwing me for a little bit of a loop because, and y'all are probably gonna be like, girl, what when I say this? The dry down for me is giving buttery popcorn. Is that weird? I don't know why, but I'm smelling it and it's very much giving, like I'm going to the movie theater and I smell buttery popcorn. Now it doesn't stay that way forever. It does become a bit more floral, it gets lighter. You guys know these things don't last too, too long. I'm getting buttery popcorn and I think it's because of the coconut milk and the frangipini. Or is it frangipini? How do you say that? Either way, I think it's those two notes that are making it smell that way, but why am I getting buttery? Why am I getting butter? It's, it's so strange, guys, but that's what the dry down of this is giving. I feel like if you try this in stores, if you can find it in stores and you put it on your hand and you let it dry down for a bit, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And listen, I love the smell of buttery popcorn. I love a good, I love a good movie theater popcorn. But do I wanna smell like that? Mm -hmm. So for that reason, I don't think I'll be picking this up a ton. Try it in store, guys. This is one I would say, y'all, try before you buy. If you can go to a Sephora and you can find this, I would definitely do a sniff test before you take it home. That's just my personal opinion. Next up, we have Carioca Crush. So notes in this one are going to be Juicy Pear, Tropical Lychee, Pink Violet, Warm Praline, white cedar wood and soft musk when you first spray this one you definitely get a ton of that pear and the lychee it's sweet another juicy fragrance here very very fruity i definitely think sweeter than bejo de sol in the dry down you definitely get that muskiness and it's also floral with the violet but the fruitiness that pear is still very much there this is really pretty this is definitely doing a delicate dance between the fruit and the floral piece in this fragrance. It's really, really pretty. I do think this feels a little bit more like spring than summer, but obviously still very much works for the summer. And then on the skin, it progressively gets lighter, not because the scent is lifting, but there's a little bit of an airiness about it. This would actually be really nice as a perfume. I know historically they've only had one perfume, but I definitely think this could be another good one. I feel like this is one that people would like a lot. Like I feel like of the three, this would be most 
mass appealing. If you're just looking at the notes, I feel like this is what would jump off the page for people. Now, is it groundbreaking? No, but still really nice. And then last but not least, we have Summer E. Amour. It's so funny, when I first started getting into Sol de Janeiro, I was still remembering my Spanish classes of old and saying Sol de Janeiro because of how the J operates in the Spanish language. But in Portuguese, you say the J. It's not a ha, huh, it's a ja. <laughs> So I was calling it Sol de Janeiro, but we got it together, y'all. The keynotes are going to be tangerine, creamy almond, tiger orchid, orange flower, sun-kissed woods, and vanilla amber. Y'all, this one smelled very familiar when I first sprayed it. I actually wore this out. I just came back from a nail appointment and I wore this to my nail appointment. And as soon as I sprayed it, I'm like, is there pistachio in here? Is this another pistachio fragrance? No, baby, it's the creamy almond. It reads like pistachio. It's a sweet, it reads like a sweet, creamy pistachio. It's very nutty. Oh my goodness, guys, hands down, this is my favorite. Hands down, like it is so, it is a sweet, fruity gourmand. It is so mouth-watering and so delicious. It's very much giving sweet cream. You do get that citrus, a little bit of that citrus. The creaminess from the sweet creamy almond is made better by the woods and the amber and the vanilla in the dry down. This is so good. Oh my goodness. Oh man, like we're just gonna go right in with it. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh. This smells so good. I would definitely say, if you were to pick one, if and that is if you like a little nutty dish in your fragrances, if you were to pick one, it would be it would be this one. And honestly, I think you could layer this with the Cherosa 62. Hear me out. This and this, yeah, yeah. Let's hold the phone and put this theory to the test, honey. Let's put it to the test right here and right now. We're gonna do this together. If you have Cherosa 62 and you do end up buying Summer E more, wear them together. Oh, you'll smell so delicious. Oh, I just did a thing. Thank me later. Overall, I think this is a great summer trio and a great release. They're all very different. They just is so very fruity at the opening with that dry down with the frangipini, frangipini is a little mm, for me not a bad fragrance if you like frangipini i think you'll enjoy this but just not for me carioca crush is really gorgeous i really love the pear in this fragrance and the lychee the sweetness at the top and then the violet gives this this beautiful floral heart just a really pretty fragrance overall and then my absolute favorite is definitely summer Amour. I love the creaminess, the nuttiness, how sweet it is. It's not sugary sweet, but it very much gives sweet cream. And the vanilla, the amber, the musk, and the woodiness to round it all off. Definitely my favorite of the three for sure. You definitely don't need all three. If I could do it over again, I probably wouldn't get Bejos de Sol, but you know yourself the best. You know what you're gonna like. If you are a little unsure about something, I'm sure many Sephoras across the country will be having these for people to smell. I would definitely recommend that you go in and do a little, little scent test. But y'all, that is the end of my video. I do hope that you found it helpful. I hope it helped you narrow down what you want to pick up if you do want to pick up one of these three fragrances leave a comment below of what you think your favorite is going to be or if you have picked one of these three up already let me know what you think if you love conversations like this around fragrance around luxury like comment and subscribe and i'll talk to y'all later bye